High-fired ceramics found in the Philippines are mostly trade wear from Thailand, Vietnam, and China, where the art of glazed ceramics has ancient roots. In the Philippines, the variety of Chinese ware is plentiful in the collection of green glazed ware, white ware, and blue and white ware. But between the provinces of Fujian and Xiangxi in southern China were ceramic centers that produced ceramics of the most understated beauty. In this set of blackware, we see a variety of forms. Tea bowls from Fujian and jarlets with angular shoulders from Xiangxi. Blackware is produced when the excess iron in the glaze is forced out during the firing process. Though these wares are glazed in somber tones, they often have interesting details that warrant a second look. In this particular tea bowl, we see a design called the hare's fur. The glaze resembling the pelt of a hare with a thin layer of clear black veins. On the other hand, this particular jarlet illustrates the penchant of some potters to stop the glaze, just short of the base with a viscous glaze material forming droplets that threaten to spill down and completely cover the vessel. During the Song Dynasty from the years 960 to 1279, blackware achieved high prestige, especially in relation to tea drinking. Spanning a whole millennium of trade with the Chinese, the Philippines used ceramics as symbols of status as both utilitarian and ritual objects. Despite not having the bold colors and intricate design of the more popular Chinese tradeware, these small humble vessels exude in their quietude a simple elegance found in blackware.